Blackmagic Resolve 16 was just announced. Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Craig for Black Magic Design. How are you? I'm very well, Johnny. Good to see you again. Same, same. And you just uh, introduced the Resolve 16. That's right. And I have to confess, to confess I have zero knowledge about this post-production right. software. Maybe one day I get to the point that I can learn it. But for now, let's dive and to the point, what is new? Okay, so Resolve 16's gone up today as a public beta, and what we're really proud to announce inside of Resolve 16 is a brand new page that we can start to work in uh, an editing process that's a lot more faster and efficient than we see in other nonlinear systems, and a way in which we're kind of introducing a new way of looking at but maybe building um, edits and post-production work around narrative construction. So actually it's like two editing profiles in one software, yeah? Exactly. The edit page itself is comprehensive it's a full non-linear system and we're really proud of the work the Resolve guys have done over the past versions of Resolve to build such a fantastic non-linear tool and it is a world-class non-linear software in itself but some of the in-depth controls, some of the fine granular options that we have inside of the edit page are a little overwhelming, probably a little bit slow and clumsome for some people to work with. Tell and, me about it. Well, and getting to learn to know them sometimes is, is quite a task because there's so many options in here. So the more capable we've made the edit page and the more comprehensive we've made it, sometimes the more impenetrable it is or slow in the way that it processes. What we've introduced with Resolve 16, though, is a brand new cut page. And the cut page is a way of us stripping back what we don't think is essential in some of the processes required for editing. And really, when we looked at the Resolve process and we looked at what nonlinear tools we had inside of the edit page, we decided to design the cut page with a lot more efficiencies. The edit page, you might be crafting and building complicated edits and working around in a nonlinear style. But with the cut to page, we can actually start thinking about work faster. You'll see straight away that the UI is a lot more simplified. We have one window which is shared between source and record. Up over here, rather than having a, a, a big area in terms of where we would sift and build bins and manage and filter content, read metadata and build all of that kind of pre and assistant editor work, we're just looking at clips. And I can click on any clip and I can actually run through them and, and review and work with them. If I wanted to look at particular information about the clips, I can go into this list view and see So this is this is all new, am I right? This is all brand new, absolutely. Um, and if I wanted to do any work, for example, I grab a clip, I can run through it and I can mark in points, I can grab, mark an out point, and like with a non-linear system, I can just drag it down to the timeline and drop it. Now what you'll see is really different here is we have two timelines, and this is what we start to see as an efficiency. When I hit play, you'll see in the top timeline, this is my entire project from start to finish, represented in a single UI. So at a glance, I can see where all my cut points are, I can see where all the information is around my project. The lower timeline has a fixed playhead, and my timeline is traveling through it, giving me a close-up in time of all of those trims and those modes. It's interesting. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about getting used to a certain workflow. And I, in the minute you get it, I guess it's easy. So the efficiency here is with these dual timelines as well is, if I make a choice of moving this shot, for example, you'll see both playheads are dynamically linked. And if I move that shot down my timeline and let it drop, it updates immediately down here. I can go in the timeline, I can do on timeline edits, I can sift, I can move, I can ripple, I can roll. I could click on these moments here and go into a trim tool. So now my source allows me to actually grab edit points and change sort of the cut point, a roll between those. This is very clear, really. Very straightforward and very clear. Anything else within this edit cut or yeah, so again, the idea of it being speed and efficiency, there's an intelligent system inside Resolve that I don't actually need to be on the cut point if I wanted to add a, a dissolve, for example. So I can quickly run through and just hit the dissolve button here, and then I have a dissolve added into my timeline. Or I can turn that back into a cut with one quick butter. I'm not going to a transitions bank, dragging and dropping, then amending or appending that. And we can build a timeline fast and efficient. I've also got this fast review button. And the fast review button uses a logical process inside of AI, uh, AI tools in Resolve. You'll see, as it gets to slower clips, um, shorter clips, sorry, it will slow down so we can review it. When it gets to longer clips, it speeds up. Nice. So it logically understands as the viewer, I want to make sense of my timeline, I want to review it, but I don't want to see it all at the same speed. I need to see what's happening. So if I've got cuts that only take 10 seconds, they don't go by in a flash. I actually watch them almost in real time. 
Likewise then, we've also got some tools where when we were thinking about exporting, you can build an entire edit within this page if you wanted to, and then we can go to some of the export options. Click this export button and I get a quick export tool. I can build H.264, H.265. If I wanted to, I'd also go to my YouTube account and manage my account and actually sign in. Resolve now will render my timeline directly to my YouTube account and allow me to upload content straight from my nonlinear tool set. So you could use this entire cut process quickly to take a, a selection of shots and build them all together and then drop them into a timeline, craft them and edit them, throw them up online. One of the essential things we've also built is this um, option here called Source Tape. Now what Source Tape does for me from a review point of view, which is even faster than looking at my clips, is it appends them all together. So this is like an old linear system. So all of my clips that sit in my bin, I can view them one-on-one -on -one, or I can view them as like timelines. But with the source clip, I can actually see everything in one go. So it means I could quickly run through, and with the new edit keyboard controller, I can jog and shuttle through my shots, mark an in point, an out point, drop to the timeline, and just keep going and going. Now that might be for an entire edit, or it could be for the first stages of a craft edit, and then I move back to my edit page and fine tune. So we've changed nothing in the edit page in terms of its performance. We've just given editors a choice. They can work fast and efficiently in the cut page, or they can craft and build narrative in the edit page. And it adds a completely new way of thinking about nonlinear systems and the way that Resolve answers the demands of our post-production and our edit work customers. Very nice. And um, where do you intend actually to push this into the market? Because literally, this is the first day yeah. that many people also within the company are actually seeing this version, am I right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We had a chance to play around with it a little bit over the weekend and get to our heads around the notion of it. Um, I've worked in post-production around non-linear systems for about 20 years now. And where I see it working is where we've got customers maybe like in high-end commercial, where we're working in terms of fast delivery. It is all about speed. It's about, you know, there are guys and there's times out there where you want to sift through takes, maybe where you're building long-form narrative or, you know, building film or documentary. Um, but there's also times where we just want to cut. You guys, for example, you're going to shoot so much stuff over the next couple of days at the show. You dump your content in. You don't want to rename your clips. You're not going to bother building bins or sifting it or using smart bin technology that Resolve has. You're just going to mark in and out, cut, 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 tidy it up with some transitions, drop some graphics on, export it straight to a YouTube account. I have an idea. We can actually give you some of our content to edit right. and actually check if it's really working on practice, huh? Absolutely, yeah. We've got some guys out here who can cut it for you. They're really cheap as well. The day rate is perfect for you. Craig, thank you very much. Um, just one more question before the thank you very much. When this will be actually avail available for the public to try? So as ever with Resolve, we're always happy to put out a public beta at NAB, see what our community think of it, give us a loads of feedback about where we can make some changes, improvements, point out where there's potentially some bugs in the software, that's what a beta's for. And then we'll look to have this either out in late summer, so generally um, within about you know, eight, 12 weeks, something like that. But we'll have more information as time goes by in terms of a more you know, definitive release date for a full uh, public announcement. So now, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Win $5,000 worth of gear in our NAB 2019 giveaway together with Serp and Joby. You can win a Genie 3X's Pro Slider Epic Kit, a Magic Carpet Carpet Fiber Slider, and a Gorilla Pod with Genie Mini. To enter the giveaway, simply click the link below and follow the instructions. All winners will be drawn on April 30th. Good luck, and stay tuned to Cinema 5D.